Hello guys, I am back talking about life model and naturism. Finally, COVID is gone and the life seems back. The normal standard life, especially for the artist that couldn't draw a real person for almost two years. Just yesterday, I went in an art academy in Newcastle and I modeled for five long hours for incredible artists. And at the end of that, I decided to do a video for my channel on YouTube because I want to encourage people to love this profession or at least respect life model. Unfortunately, many people think that life model are just the people they, they are paid to sleep. This is not absolutely true. When you are a life model, there is lots of commitment, at least a professional life model, and you must love art. I started 12 years ago when I was living in London and I have a model in many places in London, like uh, St. Martin University, UCA, in Farnham, Westminster University, in a Royal West Academy in Bristol, when I moved in Bristol, in Bath University, and also in a different place here in Newcastle. Obviously also for single artists and group of amateur artists during these 12 years can't remember for how many people I have models. So it's a job that I love and I want to give you some advice. First of all, you need to be comfortable with your body. In fact, I always uh, I say if you love naturism, you can be a, the perfect life model. If you don't like to be naked in front of people that you don't know, don't do life model. Uh, at least do just a portrait where you are dressed. Because being a life model means that you arrive in a room where you don't know anyone, you meet just the tutor, maybe the first time in your life, you go in a room, you take off your uh, outfit, remember always to bring with you a dressing gown, if you are a male or female, doesn't matter, and to cover your neck body and you go in the room. When the tutor and the artist are ready, you take off your, your dressing gown and you start to model completely naked in front of unknown people. Then another thing that you must know is that on this planet we have a gravity. So don't try difficult things with your arm. The pose can be very short, 30 seconds, 1 minute, 2 minutes, Three minutes in that case you can a bit try to lift your arms like that keeping then I show you a bit later at the end of this video but um, if you don't know how strong are your muscle don't try anything difficult because imagine if you do like this and your pose is for one hour I did my first session guys my first session stay like that for an hour. I couldn't move my head at the end of the session. I had a terrible pain that was going from here under, under my hair, down all my shoulders, it was terrible. So if the pose is long, your neck doesn't need this torsion. You need to stay relaxed, put your head, don't care if, if you think the other people uh, is a boring pose. You are the model and you are suffering and you do a mistake. So do always easy pose if it's a long pose. If it's a short pose, you can try a bit more. But if you are new in this job, you need to know uh, the, uh, how powerful are your muscles. So you need to do a bit of exercise at home. Try in front of a mirror with your arm, with your legs, and see if you can keep that pose for two, three, five minutes. Another thing before starting, always do a bit of a stretch because, okay, you walk towards the school or the academy uh, of art, but uh, you don't move too much your neck, your shoulder and your arms. 
So before starting, just five minutes before, do a bit of stretching to prepare your muscle. And if you are in the UK or in Europe in winter, ask an eater next to you because at the beginning, you don't feel any cold because you are rushing towards the session, maybe from the tube in London, maybe with your car somewhere else. But after 20 minutes that you are naked in the middle of the room, you start to be cold. And if you are cold, it's very painful. And you can also damage your muscle because you are like this. Another pose that I love is this. Not for long, for 10 minutes, the artist usually love. Obviously, depends for uh, up to you if you are a male, a female, how you feel. But this is a pose I try to play a bit with my arms. And just a small, small uh, movement make the difference. You can uh, stay sitting and play with uh, uh, your hands around your head or for an hour. No, and the artists are happy you can do a pose like this, but no longer than 10 minutes because the neck otherwise become very painful. Or you can do like this, you can do like this. Are poses that you can do also if you decide to be a photo model. I am also a photo model. Now, I show you some of the poses. But before this, I want to tell one thing. If you decide to pose, you must be paid. Don't accept session when you are not paid. Especially in London, a few people and professional tutor before COVID were calling people to try to be life model. And with this excuse, they didn't pay them. So all the payment of the artist to draw this poor life model was going in their pocket. Or other very unprofessional, especially in the east of London, were paying poor life model a few penny, sometimes less than 15 pounds per hour for two hours, 30 pounds. Considering the cost of the public transport in London, these poor people were paid almost under the minimum wage. In London, life model must be paid minimum £25 per hour if it's two hours. If the session is all day, you can be paid less than £25. But consider if at the end you are happy of it. If you live outside London, for instance in Bristol, I was paid minimum £16 per hour, £20 per hour, also during Covid, and if I was modeling from home through Zoom, and here in Newcastle I have been paid from 16 to 20 pounds per hour. And the, but, uh, Newcastle is a small city, very easy to commute, not much stress, and uh, it's quite cheap. So 20 pounds per hour is uh, very, very good. Obviously, you must then pay tax. You need to know the law of your country. So for that, uh, don't ask me because I can't help. Remember always when you are paid or in cash, or through bank account, you need to remember that there is the tax office in your country. So you must respond to them. By the way, guys, now I want to show you a few poses. Otherwise, my video becomes too long and boring. So this, one second, that I want to put, uh, uh, okay, here, the camera. This can be a standing pose of five minutes. Five minutes, there is a lot of lots of tension on my arms, but for five minutes uh, is quite good. And uh, the same like this can be also 10 minutes. And if you want to stay 20 minutes, you can do a pose like this, like that. You can see uh, is quite easy for the legs. Uh, if the pose is longer than uh, um, 
15 minutes, uh, don't keep uh, up the, the, the feet, uh, but try to be comfortable because uh, there is the gravity on this planet. And if you do like this, uh, for instance, uh, after five minutes uh, is uh, very complicated uh, to keep uh, the balance uh, and it can be very painful uh, for your uh, muscle. Uh, you can do lots uh, of pose uh, like a sort uh, of uh, dancing, no? You can do a pose of five minutes, other five, other five. You like dancing, just stop yourself and stay still for five minutes, two minutes. If they ask for poses longer than five minutes, do something really easy. You can do something also like that. Don't care if the pose is boring, you are the model and you must do what you feel is be the best for you. Imagine you do something complicated with torsion like this and uh, after you decide to stay there for 15 or 25 minutes, after 10 minutes you can't resist. So you need to ask to interrupt uh, the pose and this is not nice for the artist, it's not professional. If you sit, you can play a lot with the with the chair, you can uh, uh, put an, a fit on top of the chair or you can sit uh, with, uh, like this uh, or you can do, uh, I show you just uh, a few a few poses. Uh, this is the chair, you can stay like this, you can do like this, you can do like this, something more dynamic or uh, many, if you're a man, many men like to do that. But the feet, if it's a five, 10 minutes, can stay like that. If it's 20 minutes, don't put the feet like that. Put the feet plain, because we have the gravity. It could be very painful like that for 20 minutes. When you model, another advice that I always say is never watch in the eyes the artist. And you need to be concentrated because you are posing for a long time. It can be boring and after a while you can start to think, oh my God, I have a, 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 something in my nose, I want to scratch and I can't because otherwise I interrupt the pose. So focus your eyes on something. Sometimes I watch the shoes of the artist, sometimes I watch the ceiling, sometimes I watch something far from me and I concentrate myself in thinking, in meditation, in meditating. I never watch in the eyes of the artist because it's something not uh, too much in my view rude and you can interrupt the uh, concentration of the artist. And when, as soon as you are finished with your pose, don't go around watching yourself on canvas, on paper, all naked. Cover yourself because uh, the artist can be not comfortable with your nudity, okay? Cover always yourself, be respectful also in the choice of your pose. One day I remember I was in London in Covent Garden and I was at the beginning of my career about uh, 11 years ago and I was modeling with another female model. She was more experienced than me. By the way, we start to model completely naked and I took my pose thinking to do something very, very professional and uh, I was new like life model, I was uh, an experienced uh, professional photo model. So I took my pose uh, like this. It was like uh, five minutes pose. Now you can see this woman went down, put herself uh, on the floor and push herself uh, hand and feet up, completely naked, you could see everything. And <laughs> some artists were embarrassed, others chose to draw me because it was too much, others were instead that mm, I am drawing everything of this woman, it was not a good choice of pose. So always be concerned about your pose because you are naked. So uh, uh, is better respecting the feeling of uh, the artist and be kind with them because they pay you so uh, to, to come and draw you. So 
not be uh, arrogant or rude without talking with them. Go around, chat with them when there is a break, take some picture of uh, uh, their drawing. Be nice, okay? They are your customer. Thank you guys for following me and see you soon in another video. Ciao!